I must really like you guys because in spite of how hard this was to put together, I'm going to take it apart just to show you. <laughs> I just got this new motor put in. Doesn't it look pretty? It's all shiny. You can't see much of it now, but I have to prime the oil pump. And in order to do that, you have to take out the abomination sensor, which is actually a camshaft position sensor made up of a distributor. That's what I call it. So anyway, you do that, and then I like to take the oil filter off so I can see when I'm done priming. Um, when I turn the drill, you can see the oil come out of that. So what I'm going to do, what I'll do is I'll put this on in that way. It's no big deal anyway. So I'll get it primed, and then I'll put the oil filter back on. I've got a catch pan down there to catch it, but... I tried cranking it. Sometimes you can disconnect the spark and crank the engine over and see that oil pressure come on. The oil filter on this was just totally dry, no dice. So anyway, so what I'll do is I'll turn this some more. Let's turn it clockwise. So we got pressure. Feel that. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull our drill out of there and I'll show you what I did. You prime it, and that is the last sound that I wanted to hear right now. That's the socket. Sometimes it's better to have two hands and not be holding the camera, huh? What I did is I took a quarter inch extension, put that in the drill, and then if that socket fell in there, I'm gonna be not thrilled. I didn't hear where it dropped. Anyway, you look down in there, and you can see that it looks like a flathead screwdriver. You base it, oh, I totally dropped that down in there, didn't I? That sucks. So anyway, you just, uh, sucks to be me. You just turn that, and uh, it primes your oil pump. And then you just put your camshaft position sensor back in, or your distributor, or whatever. It's time to go fishing with a magnet. Crap. <laughs> it pays to have good karma. By that, I mean... I got the socket out. What I did is I took a little bit and I made sure to make it be an o-ring type that would stick in the socket. And I used a magnet tool to get it out. I don't know who invented the magnet tool, but I'm sure they have better karma than I do. <laughs> oh, phew, I hate, I, you know, you could abandon that. It could go to the bottom of the oil pan. It may never hurt anything, but just knowing that it's there would drive me crazy. So I'm really pleased to get it out. Learn from my mistakes. Be careful, coach it out centered. So, and if you do drop it, there's hope with a magnet tool. All right, so you see that little uh, flathead screwdriver thing? What I've done is I've turned that to match um, the way that this one is. And it's a little tricky because this is rotating because of the splines as you put it in. Um, so I just try to get it so that it's in the neighborhood or roundabout. Sometimes you have to fish around with it a little bit to get it right. There's one correct way to put this in, and uh, 15 wrong ways, assuming there's 16 splines. A lot of them have 16. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got this Jeep all reassembled. Got the oil pump primed. It's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how we did. Looks like the oil gauge is climbing. That's a good sign. All the lights are off. That's good. I feel a little vibration I don't like, but a lot of that can be just because uh, I mean, it's a brand new remount engine. I'll drive it for a little bit and see what happens. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. I think we'll have to put a hood on this critter and take it for a ride. Looks like we've got some oil and crap on the exhaust that's smoking up the garage. We'll take it out and run it outside. 